In this video, we will continue with the general term of a GP. You will find this on page 49 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. For the sequence, find the ninth term and TN. Now first you have to determine that it's a GP. So remember, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger to see better. Okay. If you're going to say T2, divide T1. If I divide, and I do the same, a quarter divide by negative um, a half, I get every time negative a half. So therefore, I know it's a GP. Okay, so the R is negative a half, A is 1. And now, for the ninth term, I just substitute 9 minus 1, I work it out on the calculator. And then, TN. I have A. So I, I work up T in for this specific sequence. So I put in A and I just put in my value of R and that is then my general term. So if I ask the ninth term, I can just use this and say 9 minus 1 is 8 and I just get exactly that same answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I think I'm going to give you a little bit of a more challenging one now, though it's GPs. But because it's a revision of ordinary level, you can do number C. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number C. So it's A squared over 2B to the power of 3. A4 over 2B. A8B over 2. Now remember, this is term 1, term 2, term 3. Okay, and then, don't forget, okay, first you can test, you can test to see that it's a GP. Maybe I must just quickly do that test for you. Um, test. So I'm going to just do T2, divide T1. So it's going to be A squared over to be no 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 I'm writing the incorrect one so it's a to the power of 4 over 2 B uh, divide by a squared over 2 B 3 so that's a 4 over 2 B multiply 2 B 3 over a squared and that is going to give you Okay, so two of that, so it will be A squared, will cancel. One of the B's, will, the two's will cancel over B2. And the B2 will be on top. And the same. If you do, then do T3, divide T2, and I'm doing it quickly for you. Um, so it's going to be A8, B over 2, divide a4 over 2b and to change it to a multiplication what do we always do we take the reciprocal okay pin my pin okay it's nice and then i cancel so i will get a to the power of 4 and b times b will be b oh let me just see if this one is correct um, this is 8 to the power of 8. Um, let's just see where I make my mistake. mistake. This is going to be A8B. It's, oh, oh, it's not an 8. It's a 6. Okay. It's because it's so small. Let's so just correct that. Now that I can see my textbook, that was a 6. Okay, luckily it just changed here. Can I just quickly see? It's going to change here. This is the 6. And um, this is the 6. And then it's going to be here. Okay, now it's done. And it's going to be b to the power of 2. And then I can see it's a gp. Okay, but now... I must find the seventh term. I'm just going to clean it, otherwise my space is going to be going too much up. Okay, so let's just 
now we start with the question. So if I start with the question, the first one, it's going to be the seventh term. So don't forget the general term. I'm writing it again. And you have to memorize these formulas. You can remember it. If you can remember it from ordinary, excellent. Okay. So this is going to be T7. And the value of A. Oh, and unfortunately, I was cleaning it. But can you remember the value of R was that A square B square. Okay. So T7, and that is going to be A. So it's going to be A squared over 2B3. And then it's going to be R, this A squared B squared. And it's going to be 7 minus 1. So that's going to be A squared over 2B3. Okay, and this is actually on top, so I'm just going to write it. So it's 6. So 6 times 2 is 12. And this is going to also be b to the power of 12. Okay, and now I can simplify. So that is going to give me a, because there's just that a, is 14. Uh, there's my 2. And can you see 3 of that 12 is going to cancel. So um, 12 minus 3, it's going to be 9. And that is going to be your final answer. Okay, now the next one. It's a bit more challenging with the algebra in. But I think by this stage, you're good in algebra. And if you reach this level. Otherwise, you just have to go back to the basics. Okay, so the next one I want to do is the second one. It is the nth term. So I'm saying T in. I still put in A. Remember, this is A. The first term. I still put in R, and then it's N minus 1. Now, because I cannot simplify that, I cannot simplify further, and I cannot simplify. So, unfortunately, that is my T in term. I cannot simplify any further. 